Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking today's thumbnail. And if you did, it's because you are looking for some recommendations for Mother's Day. That special day for that special someone is coming and it's right around the corner. And we definitely want to do something special for them. A mom is the most important person in everyone's life. So I hope that today's recommendation that I have for you at all different price points are going to be of help to you. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Moraima. This Channel, I share some of my passions such as fragrance, self care, and decor. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking today's thumbnail. I'm so excited to see you. If you are a mom, I just want to say how much loved you are and how much I admire you. I am not a mom myself, but I do have one, of course. And every time I think of all of the sacrifices that mom do all around the world, is just an uncomparable love. So I salute you from today. We don't have to wait until it's Mother's Day. Every single day should be Mom's Day. And every single day we should let our moms know and all the mothers that we have in our lives, whether it's our sisters, friends, or anyone like that, that we have around how much they are appreciated and how much they matter. Anyways, with that being said, let's just get started. So as I said, I have about six or seven recommendations for you. I divided them in like three different price points so that if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable or something that is a little bit more midpoint or something that is very specific to the job that mom does, then this can potentially help you. Now, Mother's Day happens to fall right in the middle of spring. So to me, it's an ideal time to think of beautiful florals that usually typically Typically are super well loved by women. So the very first one that I want to share is one that I discovered last year and I think that because of its price point and the quality it's I would say is the most affordable one that I have on this list and not only is the most affordable one is super well loved I think it's great for this particular season I think it's also different enough that mom is going to feel special that she's wearing something or she has something that not many people have around her especially if she's still in the corporate world or she still has a job and she wears fragrances to work I would be almost 100% sure that no one would be wearing this fragrance so she would feel super special and it won't break the bank. And this one is Trussardi Donna. This is such an incredible, gorgeous fragrance. Before, I mean, we get into the fragrance, look at the beautiful, classic packaging. I think the white and gold and just like the, just the way this bottle presents itself I think is great for a, an actual gift and she's gonna feel like impressed and she's gonna feel like she has something very exclusive and this is so affordable guys this is in the $50 range you know depending on where you get it you know some places I'm gonna try to put as many links below where you can get it the most affordable possible this is super affordable so if you are either on a budget or you happen to be a dad you know helping your teenager buy something special for mom then this is definitely a good good option oh, Donna Trussardi is that fragrance that took everyone by surprise last year I feel that no one expected such an incredible fragrance for the price point this fragrance is it's a beautiful floral but it's citrusy and it's sweet and it has fruits and it's and it it's just different it's a different upper class type of fragrance I love how it doesn't smell generic I love how it smells different and it's super mass pleasing a lot of people love Donna and I think that it's such a safe bet it is such a safe bet for this fragrance I've already reviewed this in my channel but I'm just gonna quickly go over the notes if this is the first time you're seeing this fragrance citrus white floral fruity sweet vanilla floral woody and powdery and super quick on the notes we're starting with fruity notes yuzu which seems to be a citrus, a malfi lemon, middle notes, jasmine, African orange flower, and lotus. On the base notes, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and Virginia cedar. Very classy as well, fragrance, yet fruity and fresh in daytime and super spring and super summer, so she would be able to definitely get a ton of use of this fragrance. And like I said, you can't go wrong for the price it's in the 50 60 range it's an incredible super affordable and this is a it's 100 ml so it's a large bottle for that price 
And to me, out of the budget category, this would be the best budget fragrance that I would buy for mom because I think it's a fragrance that is super classy. It looks way more expensive and it smells way more expensive than it is. And I think it's a really good add-on for a collection. Even if she's not necessarily a huge fragrance lover, she would definitely enjoy this fragrance. Love it. Can't go wrong. Price, amazing. Smell, amazing. Everything is amazing. Looks incredible. And I think you can't go wrong with Donna Tresori. The next fragrance is another fragrance that at this point of the year right now is, last I checked, at a really good price. Incredible price. Way cheaper than what I paid for it. <laughs> It is such an incredible process and I don't know if it's because a new one is coming out, like a flanker of this fragrance is coming out, or I don't know what's the deal, but the price has gone down so much and it's such a good fragrance that I would bet that it's going to be in most videos dedicated to either spring favorites for spring or good perfumes for mom because I think it's just ideal. And when you see this bottle and it's also just like Donna, same category looks great smells amazing not a lot of people have it so mom is not going to feel like she's wearing what everybody else is wearing and it's a super mass pleaser fragrance and this is soleil by lalique the price on this has gone down a lot guys i don't i don't understand what's going on but i hope they're not taking it off the market because this fragrance is amazing this is one of my most incredible most worn fragrance in the spring and summertime i just love love this fragrance is very creamy it has a like tonic touch to it but it's not it's a like tonic you can wear in the summertime it's but it's fresh and it's sweet and it's feminine and it's gorgeous i mean look at this it also comes with like a beautiful charm here that mom can wear it's a bracelet actually i i sticked it with um, i added a little bit of paper because of uh, scotch tape because it was just sliding around but it's just an incredible look at this bottle guys i mean i'm sure you've seen it but if you haven't seen it like really i mean this fragrance is incredible real quick on the notes sweet fruity like tonic warm spices citrus almond nutty caramel and coffee the coffee is not very predominant which makes it easy to wear throughout the summertime opening notes we got mandarin orange bitter almond and cardamom middle notes pear milk candied almond caramel coffee and jasmine and on the base notes praline white musk and sandalwood these notes guys are incredible i love 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 this fragrance this is one of my most worn these two soleil and trasorti were the two most impressive fragrances that i got last year in the somewhat affordable price range that i could not believe my eyes this was a little bit more pricey when I paid it this was more pricey than Donna to me it's like niche quality scent profile at the same time having incredible presentation a good brand behind them look incredible packaging so the experience overall is a really good experience for the price I was super impressed and I absolutely love love Lalique Soleil to me this is one of my top fragrances to wear and the one that is coming is um Lalique Soleil Vibrant, I believe, Vibrant. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get my hands on that one because I need to have them both. The bottle is just the same, but with an ombre, I am, I've searched high and low to see if I can actually get my hands on it, but apparently it's not out yet. But this is incredible, and I think it would be an ideal fragrance for mom. It's fresh, it's fruity, but at the same time, it's different. It has a little bit of a lactonic quality, but the pear keeps it really fresh. And it's just, like I said, it's a different type of fragrance. She's not going to smell like your typical Lancome. Not that there's anything wrong with your typical designers. I'm just saying if you are trying to get something extra special at an affordable price, this and, and, and Trasardi are like the super budget options because they are just a good buying for your buck incredible fragrances for really really good price because this one has come, come down in price so do take advantage and if you didn't have it and you're not a mom or you're just want it for yourself then take advantage because i don't know if the price is going to come up once the flanker comes out i don't know what's the deal with that all i know is that um it's an incredible fragrance and it's really going for a really good price and i think it would be an incredible gift for mom once again this is soleil by Lely. the next few fragrances i'm going to talk about are very much directed to a particular 
I mean, it could be for anyone, but I feel that they work really well for a particular person who works in a particular industry. That being said, that's why I thought about these fragrances and I think they would be great for gifting to mom if they happen to be in that industry. The first one I wanna talk about is if mom happens to um, work in an office where, you know, she doesn't want to wear something that is very loud, but at the same time, she wants to wear something that is, you know, kind of sophisticated and nice and pretty, but she's probably, you know, in a powerful position or she's probably a manager or she's probably, she has a few employees under her or something like that. And she wants something that is very feminine, but at the same time, very classy. And this one is Tiffany Intense. I feel that this fragrance is a good fragrance for that type of person who has a that type of job. It's a very musky fragrance, but at the same time, it has such a class and such a sophistication about it. It's obviously a gorgeous bottle. It's Tiffany, you know, everybody knows Tiffany as the jewelry brand that, you know, exudes class and sophistication. It's such an incredible fragrance to me for someone who is constantly in an office and that's what they do and they want something for the daytime. It's a very powdery, it's musky, it's a cozy fragrance. I feel that you can wear it during the summer. I think it's a all year round fragrance. You can wear it in the winter, you can wear it in the summer, but it's not a I arrive before you do type of fragrance. It's, it's a very discreet fragrance. And obviously depending on how much you spray, but it's, I feel that it's a really, really good fragrance to give to that type of person that, you know, they have, they're still very much in the corporate well, world. They like something that, you know, it's classy, it's very sophisticated, but it's not your typical, you know, run of the mill fragrances. This is one that it would be also less worn by the masses. You know, this is a little bit more exclusive and it's still at the designer price point, which makes it super easy to get and affordable in terms of price point. I also like the fact that they always do a lot of really good um, packages or like gift with purchases or you know the type so you can get more for your money when you're getting a fragrance like this so I feel like, to me the rose gold which is the other one I have of this one I like that one as well but I feel that that is a very fresh younger you know version of this that may not necessarily be appropriate for you know someone with a position of power you know a manager someone who is you know very much in the corporate world and they want something that is a little bit more serious you know something a little bit more toned down i think that tiffany intense is uh is definitely a good one on the notes we got powdery musky amber iris vanilla woody soft spicy violet earthy and sweet and for the actual notes, it opens with pear, mandarin leaf, and pink pepper. So it's a very fresh fragrance, but at the same time, it has some sweetness and a little bit of kick with that pink pepper. Middle notes, iris, rose, jasmine. And on the base notes, musk, cashmeran, benzoin, vanilla, carrot, and amber. I've never had a pear and fragrance with carrot. This doesn't smell anything like carrot but it's a really, really good choice for someone who's still very much in the corporate world. Once again, this was Tiffany Intense. The next two fragrances, I'm gonna talk about them in combination because they're for the same purpose. So let's just say mom works somewhere where she would like to wear something, but she technically can't. It's either in the medical field or she works in the public where you know she shouldn't be wearing beast mode fragrances, but she still wants to smell fresh, have a little something, and she wants something nice, and you wanna give her something nice that is gonna fall within that realm where she's able to wear something, but at the same time, it's not to, it's going to be more for her. It's not gonna overpower everyone around her. And they're both from Chanel, so you're probably knowing already which ones I'm going to be speaking about. And I have Chanel number no. five, Lou, and we also have Coco Mademoiselle, Lou Privé. Why not the regular? Because the regular is has really good performance. Obviously, is one of the most iconic, popular fragrances in the world. Is super popular. She probably already has it, or she's already smelled it, or she's already worn it. But the Lo Privé is your Coco Mademoiselle, but toned down so she would be able to still wear a fragrance that she loves or that she's probably worn in the past or something that is super classic and iconic without necessarily being too intrusive and the other one chanel number no. five low is a super fresh very 
modern take on Chanel number no. five. This is very much stepping out of the shower type of fresh. She's going to feel super welcoming. She's going to feel cozy. She's going to feel fresh. She's going to feel feminine, but at the same time, it's almost like she's not wearing anything. This is the type of fragrance that if people are super close to you, they would wonder what are you wearing because you smell good, but they can't pinpoint what it is. It's um, just a very confident, but very fresh, very calming type of fragrance. And I feel for someone who has to be either in a medical field or in an industry where you are technically sometimes a stewardess, anyone working in an airplane, anyone working in a very enclosed location where your fragrance would perhaps be very disturbing to those around you. Even someone working potentially with elders or even to a certain extent, a teacher. So anyone working in a school, a lot of those jobs require for you to either don't wear any fragrance or very light type of fragrances. And I feel that these two are great presents for such a special occasion, but at the same time, super, super wearable. And them being, you know, still super accessible for you to get them anywhere. I find that that's another good plus bonus point where, you know, if you're shopping for something like Trussardi and La Lique Soleil, those are fragrances that you have to purchase online. However, Chanel, you can pretty much get it anywhere. There are so many locations where you can, even if you're running last minute, you know, you can still find these bottles. So out of the collection, I feel that these two, for those particular type of jobs, if mom happened to have those type of jobs where she cannot wear fragrances, but she would like to have something and she never knew what to wear, then these would be incredible top choices. I love them both equally. They're, when I wanna feel a little bit more fancy, I would wear Coco Mademoiselle and when I wanna feel a little bit more fresh than Lo Privé or Chanel number no. five Lo Privé. I like them both and I feel that they're going to be great, great contenders for you to potentially gift to mom on that special day. So once again, we have Chanel number no. five Lo and we have Coco Mademoiselle Lo Privé. The next two fragrances, we are going to step a little bit more into the luxury realms. Now the price points are going up a little bit. So if you were looking for something extra, extra special for mom and you want something that could almost be a guarantee that she's going to adore, then I think these two fragrances are going to definitely fit the bill. The first one I want to talk about, I have in the 30 ml. This is Dama Bianca by the house of Serge Off. I feel that this is such a beautiful, creamy, feminine, floral, musky, woody fragrance that you can wear all year round. This fragrance you can definitely wear spring, summer, not in the extreme heat of summer, but you know, summer it's still super appropriate to wear fall, winter, obviously the colder the days, the more the fragrance, you know, steps into the background. But Dama Bianca is just, I don't know how to explain it. It's so classy. It's such a beautiful floral, creamy. It's a floral, it's a creamy floral. It's very sweet, but it's very different from any florals that I've, I've smelled before. It's not the type of fragrance that you smell it and right away you can pinpoint it's a floral fragrance. You just know that it's a very feminine fragrance. It's a very feminine, I would never think of a man wearing Dama Bianca, you know, Madame in white, you know. So it's a very, very sophisticated, creamy, feminine fragrance. So if you want to give something that it's a little bit more, the packaging is gorgeous. Even the larger size is a little bit larger and it has like a little tassel. I'm going to put the picture over here. You know, the whole packaging, the whole experience of Dama Bianca and Serge Off is going to be something that mom is going to be super impressed. So if you're looking to impress, and these are fragrances that I feel she would definitely enjoy. I feel that it's a really, really good combination that she's going to feel like, I love it, but I don't know what it is. Like what's in here? How How is this fragrance so different from anything that I smelled before? Unless she's obviously a perfume addict like all of us, <laughs> but let's just say she's not. You know, she's gonna feel like, you know, I've. I love it, but I've never smelled anything like this. Like what's in here? And talking about what's in here, we're talking powdery vanilla, citrus, floral, violet, musky, woody, iris, fresh, and white floral. And then for the notes, we are at the top notes. We are starting with kumquat and lime. Middle notes, Italian iris, violet, Egyptian jasmine, lilac, and lily of the valley. I mean, that is as floral as floral can get, right? And then on the base notes, we have vanilla, malt, 
Ambret, we have white musk, sandalwood, and cedar. So the ambret and the vanilla and the white musk and the sandalwood makes it so, so creamy. The florals that are in the mid, they're not necessarily sharp florals. They're very soft, very delicate type florals. And that touch of sweetness from the kumquat and freshness from the lime just makes this fragrance like an incredible composition that I think would be a big, big, big success. And I think to me, it's a really good choice for a gift for mom if you wanna have something a little bit more luxurious to offer her for that special day. Once again, this was Serjov Dama Bianca. And the last fragrance is another one that I feel would be an incredible, beautiful piece of luxury to give mom. Also another floral that is considered a little bit more of an amber floral, but I think it has an incredible combination of beautiful, delicate florals that is going to be super well loved by mom. And this one is 50 51 by Roja Parfum. This is an incredible, incredible florals. I'm not into florals. I feel like smelling too much like a bouquet of flowers, just walking around. It's just not necessarily very sexy, very appealing. But when done right, when well blended, I feel that is the most feminine. This is such a feminine, classic, money, this is a very high-end type of floral. I feel that it doesn't make you feel like it's any type of floral. This is a floral that was intentional. I know that Roja à Parfum also have 51 in their traditional line, but they're a lot more pricier. This is a good middle point where you're still not necessarily completely breaking the bank, but if you're looking for something luxury, at the same time with the brand and the blending of Roja Parfum, then this is definitely a good starting point. I feel that she would feel super excited and just, I mean, I received this as a gift and I was super excited when I got it. I mean, just the, the presentation of the, I don't know if the camera's picking up, the presentation of the bottle, the little stones here, you know, it says gift ready. You know, when something is gift ready, it's gift ready. It's a beautiful, beautiful floral. So let's take a look at the notes real quick. We have white floral, woody, sweet, vanilla, yellow floral, powdery, warm, spicy, amber, balsamic, and fruity. And then for the actual notes, we have bergamot. Then on the middle notes, ylang ylang, which makes it super tropical and a little bit sexy. Gardenia, orange blossom, raspberry, awesome. Tuberose, lily of the valley, lily, may rose, and jasmine. As you see, it's a large amount of florals, but they're so well blended that it doesn't, you can't pinpoint one over the other. It's super, that touch of raspberry and ylang ylang just makes it different. And at the same time, you know, at the base notes, we have vanilla and cashmere wood and sandalwood and benzoin and orris and violet, cinnamon, anise, clove, and patchouli. It is a whole lot of notes, <laughs> right? But, oh my God. It's so well blended. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is like your dressier floral and Dama Bianca was a little bit more of a daytime floral. If mom happens to have a office job or she happens to still be in the corporate world and she wants something that is not going to be too heavy beast mode, but still classic and super sophisticated, yet very, very feminine. I think these two would be really good fragrances for her to feel sophisticated and at the same time, super feminine. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of these fragrances. If you too, you feel that these would be ideal potential gift for mom and they would be well appreciated and well received. Let me know if you are considering buying mom a fragrance and which one you would pick. I would personally pick for my mom mom. I, the thing is that my mom doesn't wear fragrances whatsoever. She doesn't like, she has migraines, so she always suffers with migraines and she can never wear any fragrance whatsoever. I don't remember my mom wearing perfume ever, but if she would, <laughs> you know, I feel that she would be very much a Dama Bianca type of person. I think that that would be something that she would enjoy a lot or maybe 51 to go out or something like that. But Again, let me know in the comments below. I'm dying to know what are your choices, what are your picks, and what did you think of this list? I wish you all, not only my viewers, but also my other fellow YouTubers who are also moms, that I don't know how you guys do it with a family and the kids and a channel and all of that. You are heroes. Thank you so much for giving life to this world. Thank you so much for impacting all of our lives the way that you do. Happy Mother's Day, and I leave you all 
with a big kiss. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And until the very next time, big kiss. Bye-bye.